Hi, good day, everyone. Cynthia here. How are you all doing? Yeah, I've been following this court of justice on Facebook, and I don't know whether you've been following too, but the commonest case then now are the cases of men that abandoned their children. You know, they would just get up, you know, run away, pick one or two things and run away, abandoning their kids for their wives. Their excuses are that things became so tough and they can no longer help. So they decided to run away. And some of these men, their wives are not doing anything. Some of them have one, two, three, four, five kids. Some of them even went as far as telling their landlords to inject their family whenever they feel like that they're no longer the ones responsible for house rent. And it got me into thinking, what's actually going on with marriages in Africa, especially in Nigeria? What happens to, for better, for worse? Why would anyone want to go into marriage and also be ready to bring in kids that you're not ready to take care of? How long would this thing take? A lot of women have actually committed suicide because of this. Because no same women or no same woman want to abandon her child, not after going into labor room and coming out alive. Please, men, we can do better. This is wickedness to the highest order. And it's not as if these men will actually go. They will like go and go to another working class lady and also start from there, start impregnating. When that side is filled, they will also pick raise. How long are we going to do this? Look at the way we're wasting children. Please, enough should be enough. Have mercy on kids. Do you know, at times if I'm going on the way and I see kids, what usually comes to my mind is, what if I wasn't really, really strong? This is how my kids will be wandering around the street. Please, if you are not ready to get married, do not go. Don't even start at all, let alone coming to make children that you are not ready to take care of. Recently, I had uh, a lady of 33, a single mom. She was uh, saying on a dating site that she needed uh, a man between 50 to 55 to get married to, but that she's not ready to bear children again. Some people were like lashing, tongue lashing her, you know, pouring abuses on her that, okay, you want someone that will take care of your children for you. And that's to show you that no man, no Body wants to take care of children that they didn't give birth to. Please have mercy on women. That's why we have single mothers flooded everywhere. Enough should be enough, please. And you, the single mothers, some of you just, you know, some of you folded your hands waiting for men to come and marry you and take over all your responsibilities. It's never, never done like that. When you've not gotten married, try find something doing so that when the bubble bursts, you will have something you will lay hands on at least to save your children. Please, please, enough is enough. Have mercy on women. You know, the rate of deceit, the rate of deceit coming from men this time, at times it shocks my body. It shocks me to the marrow. Please, do not promise what you are not ready for. Some of you will just like, when you feel like having sex, you will just like, okay, let me just get one woman to keep her permanently and be banging her. In that way, you need a sex worker, not a wife. Some of you, whenever you're hungry, okay, let me go get a woman that will be cooking for me. In that way, you need a chef and not a wife. Get it right. Marriage is all about responsibility. If you're ready to carry the load, don't even start a journey you cannot finish. And some of you that have abandoned your kids for a long time ago, all of a sudden you start coming because they're grown. You want to come and reap where you did not sow. Thunder, eh? The thunder that will visit you is still doing warm up in one um, sports center or the other. Don't think you will comfortably reap where you did not sow. That that's the way God will just like look at you. This is wickedness. Why? Look, look, just look at what women are going through of recent. Some women going about to beg just to save the lives of their kids because things are quite expensive in this country. Is it in feeding, school fees, accommodation? Man, please. Don't start what you cannot finish. 